right, so here we have a piece of window screen. It comes in a big roll like this. It's a somewhat under seven dollars at Home Depot. For the size that I get, you can get bigger sizes. You uh, also need the rip ties to tie down the window screen to your A crate. So you want to make sure that your A crate, your window screen, fits nice and flush over your A crate, and you use your rip ties to thread the window screen in the A crate. This is so much better than using that leak of stuff. Because for one, if you have a big tank, you have to buy a lot of it, and then it gets really heavy, so in a, situa in a scenario where you have to move that tank, it's going to be a pain. So this saves you a lot of time and back strain and also money. Because we never know when we are going to rearrange our for our program. So imagine if you had like a hundred and eighty gallon fish tank that you had to that you uh use leak in. It would be really annoying. So I only use four. You can use as many of these as you want. I don't feel it necessary. And don't tie them too tight. Don't pull them too tight because they can break the A crate. And you want to nip off the excessive rip. This is what the finished product looks like. Put this in. That's the wrong way. So you wanna you just want to make sure that sorry it fits in there snug. If you have any gaps, you can use see like this. You don't want the gaps, you can use sphagnum. To fill those gaps, you also can use uh, great stuff. I've been using great stuff to fill the gaps. I'm going to drill a, uh, a hole in the back for the drain so that way the water, the water drains out automatically and I don't have to siphon it out, which is nasty. So I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this. And this is what you don't want to wind up seeing. So like, don't dislike, subscribe, comment, and enjoy your frogs. Stay tuned for the next video.